gonna really appreciate this one. Da, da, da. When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit. guys today is we're gonna say i don't call it a wonderful wednesday but it is i don't want to call it a wicked wednesday but it's wednesday hope everyone's staying up staying blessed hope uh, everyone's having a great day we're down here in uh virginia um got a little bit of a detention yesterday um and it made me late for my other appointment but it was not a big deal i got into uh it was nestle slash perina a lot of dog food <laughs> it was all right man but I ended up running that out to uh, Food Food King or Food Giant um, out in Virginia, on the other side of Virginia. And then uh, there was a Petro a couple miles away, of course. It was the middle of the night by the time I got offloaded. So uh, I never, ever, ever park on a ramp or any of that other stuff. But uh, the ramp getting on for the Petro, the next exit up, there was like, um, had real wide shoulders, but also like a gravel that went down off to the side and was up against the mountain. So I said, wow, all right, cool. So I, I rolled up and checked on it and I was like, all right, this is cool. This is cool. This is where I lay my head down for the night. So I was all the way up against the mountain and um, I still have my lights on, on the truck, you know, uh, it's no big deal with the, the op title and the, all the stuff the truck's got going on. It's no big deal. So I had nothing to worry about and uh, did my thing and I, I laid down and uh, I woke up like, I don't know, like two, three o'clock in the morning. I had to go to the bathroom. So I throw on my throw on my boots and uh it was cold. It was like 25, 30 degrees. It was wicked cold, but I didn't care. I jumped out of the truck and I walk around to the passenger side and uh doing my business and all of a sudden I heard like like a sounded like a little bit away. And I, I heard like uh like a clicking noise or something, like you know, like rocks, like gravel that and all of a sudden I heard wow and I went I did one of those. <laughs> I, did, I was like, I froze and I pushed. I was like, oh, and I had needles coming out of me. I was like, oh, and I got right back up in the truck. And then I realized I closed the door and I realized, and I was like, okay, I'm like, it had to be like a mountain, like a cougar. Or, uh, I don't know what, a bobcat it had to be something. And it was definitely there. It scared the, the Dickens out of me. But then I realized um, where I was up against this mountain. It was very, really nice. But up against this mountain over here, he must have had a little den or something up on the side. Um, and then uh, I was sitting there and I was sitting in the driver's seat over here and I, I fired the truck up and I put on the lights and up on a ledge, I saw eyes. Couldn't tell what it was. I don't know what kind of animal it was, but I was like, Phew. Woo! <laughs> Could you imagine that one? <laughs> Took a while, got eaten by a cougar. I was looking at giant sauces link for that joint. But uh, right now we're, we are at uh, Gatorade uh, over here and we're getting our load on and we're heading up to uh, Indianapolis. So nice quick uh, puddle jump and yeah. But that's my whole story for now. I'll check back in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. Today has uh, been a pretty awesome day. Uh, a lot of good things going on, so I got my reload on, and reload hang on, on a second, and uh, heading up towards somewhere towards the Indianapolis area. So uh, a lot of good things. Uh, if you guys could keep country time in your prayers, tomorrow is uh, the big uh, the day the epic battle begins. Um, it's guys' first round of chemo tomorrow, so uh, let's do our best. You know, uh, if you want to support him uh, with prayers, he really appreciates that. Uh, if you want to support them through Cash App and prayers, Cash App is uh, Country Time 1977 uh, from the bottom of my heart. And I know from his, uh, from hanging out with him the other day, uh, the guy is doing phenomenally well. He's spiritually connected, emotionally connected. Uh, he's got a lot of support, a lot of people standing in his corner. If someone's going to beat this thing, I say, if someone's going to beat this thing, I know it's going to be him. He's going to walk right through this thing. And uh, we're going to be there on the other side, you know, to hang out. And we're going to throw a big... Uh, country time party so it's all good in the hood um so i'm gonna kind of break out of this thing a little bit early i'm actually staying at a flying j tonight and i'm gonna run in i'm gonna have some uh denny's and take a fast shower and then i'm gonna hit the bricks early but i can't be to my appointment 
I'll explain why tomorrow, but it's nothing I did wrong. It's just they're very strict with the appointment times, the type of thing that I'm doing right now. It's not a big deal. It's all Gucci. It's all good in the hood. So that is my whole story for today. Today is wonderful Wednesday. Hopefully we make Thursday as thrilling as as wonderful Wednesday was, but I don't know if that's even possible because it's not even the same alphabet or like even in the same description or descriptor of what is exactly or what I'm talking about right now because this is totally unscripted. So don't try to expose me. You heard? So from my heart to yours, always, always keep God first. Love your wife, ex-wife, whatever she is. Like it was her first to last date, even, even when so many terrible things happen, but you still love her and everything else come into play. Truck about reporting somewhere over here in Ohio. We're over here. I love you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Can I pray for you? This prayer is for every trucker or any person that can use it. Today is a great day for you to press through for the breakthrough. The thing about the breakthrough is the first word is break. So you may feel like you're breaking right now, but you're not breaking down. You're breaking through. It's time for you to allow those things that's been holding you back to be broken off of you so that God can take you to the new season for the new things and the new breakthrough that he's going to do for you. So Father God, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you for the breakthrough. Lord, I thank you that we're not breaking down, but Father God, we are breaking through. So Lord, I thank you that what the devil meant to break us with is the very thing that you're going to use to make us. So bless every person that's listening to me today and let them know that you are right there with them through everything. In Jesus name, amen. Love you. You matter.